Ribbit, written by Rodrigo Folgueria, illustrated by Polly Bernatine. Once upon a time, there was a pond that was home to a family of frogs. It was their pond, and they were very happy living there. But one morning, they discovered a surprise visitor. It was a pig, a little pink pig, sitting on a rock. Goodness, said the frogs. Why is there a pig in our pond? They whispered amongst themselves, until finally the chief frog spoke up. <clears throat> Good morning. What can we do for you? And to their amazement, the little pig answered, Ribbit. What did he say? cried the frogs. This pig is confused. Does he think he's a frog? Is he making fun of us? But again, all the little pig said was, Ribbit. News of the little pig who thought he was a frog spread fast and all the animals hurried to the pond to see the visitor. This new relative of yours is a little pink, said the raccoon. His no relation of ours, declared the frogs. He certainly sounds like a frog, said the weasel. Why would a pig want to be a frog, said the parrot. And what's wrong with being a frog, may we ask, exclaimed the frogs. Everyone started shouting at each other, completely ignoring the little pig, who just sat there practicing his ribbit. The animals laughed and laughed, and the frogs got angrier and angrier, until finally the chief frog shouted out, Stop! We're not getting anywhere by fighting. We must go and find wise old Beetle. He'll know what to do. <gasps> the wise old Beetle, gasped all the animals. But he hates to be disturbed. I know, said the chief frog, but this is very serious. That's true, the animals agreed. And off they went. And the little pig said, Ribbit? The animals found the wise old beetle and tried to explain the problem. It was hard for him to understand because they were all talking at once. In the end, he agreed to go with them to the pond. But when they arrived, Where did the pig go? The animals cried. Who was he? What did he want? Maybe, said the wise old beetle, he just wanted to make new friends. And off he went. Oh dear, said the animals. They hadn't thought of that. And sure enough, sitting on a branch high up in a tree nearby was the little pig. He was surrounded by new friends. Thanks for joining us. If you like this video, please subscribe for more kids' story time.